This is the final video presentation for the class on computational methods in biology at UC Berkeley. This video illustrates a few key concepts we have learned in this class. In the first video, we compare two different interaction energy models of lattice proteins. In this animation, you see a 75 mer protein modeled on a cubic lattice. The protein is a chain of hydrophobic monomers shown in red and polar monomers shown in blue. Each monomer interacts with its nearest neighbor on the lattice. The energy model favors interaction between like monomers. This particular configuration, found using replica exchange, minimizes the energy of the structure and corresponds to the folded state of the protein. Now you see the same monomer sequence except that a solvent has been introduced. The solvent occupies all empty sites surrounding the monomers. It interacts favorably with blue polar monomers and unfavorably with red hydrophobic monomers. You see that as a result, polar monomers are pulled to the surface of the protein and hydrophobic monomers are clustered at the core. This illustrates that the folded configuration of the protein is defined by the energy model. Our next animation is an illustration of the Monte Carlo algorithm. This time, we allow transitions between proximal configurations of a similar protein chain. The probability of transition is chosen using the Metropolis algorithm to reproduce the Boltzmann distribution. When temperature is low, the protein spends most of the time sampling the lowest energy configurations. As temperature increases, high energy unfolded states also become likely, and as there are many more of them, the protein spends most of the time unfolded. Suppose we quickly cool the unfolded protein. In that case, it might fold to a non-optimal configuration, such as this. Let's heat it back up and cool it down more slowly this time. The final configuration is very close to the lowest energy configuration. This is how simulated annealing finds a global minimum. Our final animation illustrates molecular dynamics simulations. We start with an atom cluster in a low energy configuration at low temperature. Note that it's in a solid crystalline phase. As we heat it up, we observe thermodynamic oscillations of atoms in the lattice. As we pass the melting point, we notice that the lattice structure is destroyed and the phase changes to liquid. If we quickly cool it down, just like we did with the Monte Carlo simulation, we get to a low energy configuration, but not as low as the initial state. Note that it no longer has a distinct crystal lattice configuration. Let's get back to the liquid phase.
Now let's continue to raise the temperature past the boiling point to change the phase to gas. This concludes our video presentation. Thank you for watching.